Hello, welcome back to this latest Tableau mini lecture. This one's on Tableau dashboards, dashboard design tips. Creating a dashboard is often an iterative process. It takes multiple passes at it to get it right. After making a first draft, you may realize, for example, a crucial chart is missing, or the existing charts you do have need tweaking and editing. It can take a few review cycles to find the optimal layout or design your audience finds intuitive to use. Here are some five general tips to create a great user experience. First, abstain from adding too many filters and legends. Uh, how to arrange filters and legends, give guidance. Use a unified color scheme and do not clutter your dashboard with charts. First, abstain from adding too many filters and legends, F and L. Too many filter and legends clutter the dashboard. Too many filter and legends confuse the end user. Think more the idea that less is more. As a result, remove unnecessary filter legends from your dashboard. Two, arranging filters and legends. Group filters and legends relating to the same content together. Move filter and legends near the charts in question. Format filter and legends with the same background. This helps to make the links between them obvious. For this latter effect of formatting them, right click the filter or legend and choose format filter or format legend respectively. Then in the formatting sidebar that appears, choose a color you like from the shading drop down menu to make them all look aesthetic and somehow arranged. Three, give guidance. If your charts are linked via dashboard actions, move the one that serves as a window into the data to the top left and move charts that are not meant to be filtered to the bottom right. This sort of different placement will provide users a path to explore the dashboard from top left to bottom right. For example, you could go from a high level overview of different product categories to a more detailed chart providing evolution over time of categories that are clicked. Also, make sure that you use text fields and numbers to give dashboard users more information and to guide them. More specifically, explicitly call out what to do and in what order. For example, step one, select a country. Select, uh, step two, uh, select a category, etc. Number four, use a unified color scheme. Avoid using different color palettes within the same uh, uh, set of the dashboards. For example, if you're using an orange blue diverging color palette to show profits and losses, continue working with this color scheme throughout your dashboard. Often you will have to find a color palette that works within your organization's corporate design guidelines. Obviously you don't want to make any problems with it you, that you know you can avoid. Finally, number five, do not clutter dashboards with charts. Restrict yourself to two to four charts maximum. Too many visualizations clutters a dashboard. It makes it confusing and difficult for users to get insights. You can distribute charts onto several dashboards to tell a story or to let your audience explore data and successive steps. These tips are not a definitive list. There are more if you, you know, you probably add to your own as you do this more and more. Um, this whole list contains basic and effective tips to improve the impact of your visualizations. There will be times, obviously, you need to break these rules. The longer you work with Tableau, the more you'll find out what works and does not. It'll become more intuitive and eventually you develop your own style. That was Tableau, Tableau Dashboard, Dashboard Design Tips. Thanks for watching.